Hi, in this video I will take you through a use case that will show you how data engineering and data science come together with Talent and Spark on Databricks. During this video I will show you how I take this raw movie set data that is not easy to work with and turn it into data that can easily be interacted with, reported on or use machine learning with. Talent on Databricks provide a unique solution to build your cloud data lake and enable your data science team. First, Talent makes it easy to ingest data from hundreds of different sources onto your raw data lake layer. Once on the cloud, Talent uses Databricks serverless Spark to prepare, transform, clean and join data sources, creating a usable core layer of data. From there on, data scientists can work with their prepared data on the same Spark serverless workspace while using their favorite data analytics language such as Spark SQL, Python, R. They can derive insights, report and use machine learning. In this use case I will want to derive insights from the movie dataset while minimizing costs and providing data for the, my data science team to work with. I use Talent to upload the data onto my data lake storage raw layer. But this data is not easy to work with. Different files need to be aggregated like user ranking, joined like movies and ranking, and they all need to be parsed, transformed and cleaned. The structure is a mixed JSON and CSV where for example cast members and crew members are in the same record in a different JSON stru structure. The JSON structure itself is not always valid. Let's go ahead and take a look at the jobs. I've created a talent big data batch spark job and the, the scenario begins where my data is in the raw layer on the Azure data lake storage. I'm reading the CSV file from the data lake storage which contains movie credits. This file contains an ID for the movie and two JSON structures for cast and crew members. I'm splitting the two objects and rebuilding a valid JSON for both of them together with the movie ID. Now I parse both JSONs into a flat structure. The results are two flat files which I am saving onto the Databricks file system which is also persisted onto the cloud storage. Next I created a similar job to the movie's metadata set which also co contains JSON structures. In my last job I aggregate the user ratings. I join the movie's metadata into IMDB links and cache it into memory and join the cache result to the user ratings. I've configured these three jobs to run on my Databricks Spark cluster. For more information on how to create and configure your Databricks cluster, please check my how-to tutorial. My Talent Spark job ran successfully and now let's go check the Azure Databricks workspace. First, we want to create tables for the data we just created. In the end of our Spark jobs, we persisted the files onto the Databricks file system. Now we are using the Create Table UI to prepare tables from these CSVs. The creation of the table is done on the same Spark cluster. The UI recognizes my file structure and I can immediately create a Spark table. Similarly, I create other tables, for example, for the cached file. Now the work turns over to the data scientists. You will create a new notebook and choose from several possible languages like Spark SQL, Python, Scala and R, some of which can be used for machine learning. For this example I chose Spark SQL. I can simply write a Spark SQL query which will run on the same Spark cluster. I can plot the results of queries in different ways. For example, here you can see the seasonality of movies revenue by the month of the year or revenue per year since the 60s. Here you can also see a list of top movies by score. The advantages for using Talent and Spark on Databricks are clear. You enjoy a simple to set up serverless Spark environment which has auto scaling. It's all cloud based and fully managed you can easily apply machine learning and create dashboards. It's very simple to create your data pipeline with Talent, ingest and prepare the data and use Databricks notepads on the same environment. Thanks for watching and for more technical how-to tutorials check my channels for more videos.